The Elves and the Shoemaker The Elves and the Shoemaker On the poor side of town, there lived a poor shoemaker and his wife. They didn't have any children, but they were very happy together. Although the shoemaker worked hard, his business was not successful. People either did not like the colour or the design of the shoes he made. He couldn't make several pairs with different colours and designs because he didn't have enough money for the right materials. One evening, he told his wife that he would make two pairs of shoes. I'm sure that someone will like them this time and buy the two pairs. I bought the colour that Mrs Goldsmith asked for said the shoemaker. I'm sure she will buy at least one pair, he added. The shoemaker's wife was happy to think that they would have some money soon. An hour later, the shoemaker came out of his workshop, exhausted, and said sadly, The leather I bought is very difficult to work with, and it will not make more than one pair of shoes. His wife was so upset that her tears fell on the new leather. Let's go to sleep now, dear, and I'll work on it in the morning, said the shoemaker. The wife's frustrated tears alerted two small creatures. Let's help this poor couple, said one of them. Yes, I think we have to, said the second. But remember, we cannot help them forever. The shoemaker and his wife woke early the next morning. The shoemaker went directly to his workshop to start working with the new leather he had bought. When he entered his workshop, he was astonished to find a beautiful pair of shoes on the workbench. Come, my dear wife, and look what has happened overnight, cried the shoemaker. His wife came hurriedly to see the most beautiful pair of shoes she had ever seen. When did you make these? asked the wife. I didn't. I found them here, just like you did. I believe this is a work of magic, replied the shoemaker. I will go and finish the housework now, while you wait for someone who will buy these shoes. I'm sure you'll find someone, said the shoemaker's wife cheerfully. The shoemaker didn't wait for long. A man passed by the workshop and saw the pair of shoes. The man stopped for a moment, looking at the beautiful pair of shoes, then decided to enter the workshop. Um, how much is this pair of shoes? asked the man. The price is three gold coins, answered the shoemaker. Well, I'll give you five, you kind shoemaker. They really deserve more than three, said the man. The shoemaker jumped for joy when the man left and called for his wife. When his wife knew about the five gold coins, she got very excited. Let's buy more leather and make lots of shoes she said. The shoemaker went to the market and bought some food and some new leather so that he could make new shoes as good as the ones he had found in his workshop. I shouldn't depend on magic. I have to make new shoes myself, thought the shoemaker. The shoemaker could barely make one pair as good as the magic ones and he felt very tired. He went to sleep and told his wife that he would continue working in the morning. When he went to his workshop in the morning, he found four pairs of shoes in addition to the pair he had made. Oh my God, I'll be a rich man, said the shoemaker. You must ask five gold coins for each pair, said his wife. More people came that day and he sold each pair for five gold coins. Let's help them for one more week and then we will vanish as usual, said one of the small creatures. If the shoemaker continues trying to make good shoes like the ones we make, he would not need our help after the week has passed, replied the second. Before the week had ended, the shoemaker was doing really well. Who do you think is helping us? We should thank that kind person, said the wife. I don't know, my dear wife, but I know that because of this person, we are no longer poor. We will be able to make our own beautiful shoes and sell them for a good price. And we will never be poor again, said the shoemaker. Let's hide behind the curtains and watch our helper tonight, said the wife. 
The shoemaker liked the idea and agreed to try to find out the identity of their helper. At night, the two little elves came out from their hiding place and started working on the leather. They made four beautiful pairs of shoes. The shoemaker and his wife saw them and felt very grateful to the two little elves who were working so hard to finish the shoes before dawn. In the morning, the shoemaker's wife suggested that she would make the two elves some new clothes. And I'll make each of them a pair of shoes, as little as they are, said the shoemaker cheerfully. In the evening, the two little elves came out. Today is the last day we help these poor people, said one of the elves. They're not poor anymore. They are prosperous and don't need our help, said the second elf. Look, what's on the workbench? There are two sets of small clothes, just the correct size for us, said the first elf happily. That's very kind of them. Now they know about us and we have to go, said the second elf. We won't forget you, kind shoemaker, and your kind wife, said the two elves before they disappeared from the workshop. We won't forget you either, whispered the shoemaker and his wife from behind the curtain.